last week, we saw how God helped Joshua and the people of Israel enter into the promised land and conquer it. Well, we are going to jump forward about 400 years, a little more than 400 years. That is a big jump, and oh boy, did a lot happen to Israel during that time. So for a long, long time, the people of Israel were ruled by these people called judges. And you know what? Everyone there only did what they wanted to do. It was all about them and not about others. And so they would keep not worshiping God. They would forget about him and worship idols. They would keep hurting other people. And God would send another nation to come and conquer them and judge them. And then they would pray and turn to God. And God would send a judge to come save them, to rescue them. Uh, and they would live for a few more years in peace, but then they would forget God again, not worship God, and turn away to worshiping idols and doing really bad things, living unjust lives, and it would happen again and again. And eventually the people of Israel said, we don't want judges anymore. We want a king. And so God gave them a king. He first gave them Saul, which was just like they, what they expected every king to be. Really strong and powerful and tall and handsome and just the kind of person you might vote for. But he wasn't good at following God. And so he was a bad king. And then God chose David person after his own heart. And David was a good king and he helped uh, Israel stop their enemies. And David had this idea. See, when God talked to Moses and gave him the law, he gave him, he gave Moses and the people of Israel things to remember to worship him. First, he gave them the designs to make a box called the Ark of the Covenant. And that was supposed to be where God's special presence would be. So the people of Israel would go and give their sacrifices and worship near the Ark of the Covenant. And it would lead them in battle to show everybody that God was leading Israel. So God gave them this box, the Ark of the Covenant. And God gave them a tabernacle, which is a big tent. And they had these special rooms. The, the in most middle room was called the Holy of Holies. And that's where that box, the Ark of the Covenant, would be. And then there would be the holy place that had some altars and some incense and a table of showbread. And it had this outer court. And that's where the people would be. And they would use that tent there to do their sacrifices to worship God. And God gave Moses a lot of rules and a lot of uh, steps in order to worship him the right way and to do the right sacrifices. Anyway, this has been the place where the people of Israel would go to worship God during the big festivals and during the big sacrifices they would go to the tent. And David said, it, it has been a tent for too long. It should be a building. It should be a temple. And God sent a message from, to David from a guy named Nathan. And Nathan said, David, I love your idea, but you have been at war too much. You should leave that to your son to fit. David started saving up a bunch of money, getting a bunch of supplies, drawing up the plan so when his son Solomon came, uh, his son Solomon became king, 
he could build the temple. And so Solomon became king, and he did what David wanted. He started building the temple. You know what? It was a huge and hard project. They didn't have the power tools and the nail guns we didn't do. We had now. They had to work really hard. Do you know they had to go to another country to get the wood and the timber they needed to uh, build this temple. So they sent thousands of people to another country one month at a time to cut down trees to shape them to and to send them by ship back to Israel and then put them on carts uh, carried by oxen and drive them all the way to where the temple was and the temple was on the top of the hill so the oxen and all this stuff had to go up to the top of the hill to get there and then they had workers had to dig and dig and dig and then they had workers go to another mountain where there was a, a lot of rocks and they had to make each building block of rock and stone they had to cut it and shape it there and then bring it all the way shaped back to the temple to put in place this took thousands and thousands of men over seven years to do and then they covered so much of it in gold and bronze and very expensive things it looked beautiful and then they had to carve all these different animals and and flowers and trees onto the side of the building to make it look like the garden of eden so it would look special and that took a lot of time it was a huge huge project that took seven years to finish and when they were done, they had this huge celebration. And they had feasts and celebrations for two whole weeks, 14 days. They threw this huge party to celebrate when they finished the temple. That was quite a party. And when they finished, they prayed to God and dedicated the temple. And God came down in a cloud just like the pillar of cloud he used to lead Israel in the desert. God came down and it so filled the temple that the priests couldn't finish their job. They had to go out of the temple because the cloud was so thick with God's glory. And they did all this work for God to have a temple. Why do you think they did all that work? Because if you think about it, God is so much bigger than the temple. He doesn't need a place to stay. He didn't need a house. God is everywhere. Um, Solomon even prayed when he dedicated the temple. He said, God, you don't even need this. You are higher than the highest heavens. So God didn't need it. He didn't need sacrifices. It wasn't like he was hungry or needed us to feed him or give him food like some of the people who worshipped idols thought. No, God wasn't like that. Hmm. So if God didn't need this fancy temple, why spend all that money and all to pay all those people and get all those really fancy supplies? And to work for seven years to build a temple that God didn't need? Hmm. What do you think the answer is? Use that little question mark to tell me why you think God, they did all that work to build a temple. And then click the next button and we'll talk about it.